Harry, you've been in the Ross Common team for a long, long time now. What motivates you and keeps you going all these years? I don't know, uh, Michael. That's a um, hard question. I, I suppose it's coming out in the championship each year has been a, a good motivator. and I think I enjoy the um, comradeship of playing with the fellas. and It's good to be up there in the top grade of football. You go back to 1972, mm -hmm. marking fellas like Mick O'Dwyer. I had the pleasure. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if it was the pleasure or not at the time. <laughs> I, I did mark my, Mick, uh, but um, I got injured in that game. It was an All-Ireland semi-final. I didn't last too long. I was only a young lad anyway. Well, no, I'm sure you'll be hoping to last a lot longer tomorrow against Galway. What kind of shape are Roscommon in for that match? Uh, well, Roscommon, coming up to the championship, we always train hard. And um, we're in pretty good shape, you know. It doesn't worry you going to Salt Hill and to Galway's own backyard? No. Uh, it never worried us where we played Galway. Um, it was always a hard game between us. And we've had some good wins in Pier Stadium. They've beaten us as well, so it's uh, fairly even. Well, now, although you've been a constant member of the Ross Common team, there are changes on both sides tomorrow. There's a, a lot of new look to both Galway and Ross Common, so it's going to be hard to say how things will go. I think it will. Uh, it'll be uh, hard for the pundits to predict any who's going to win it. So I think uh, unpredictability makes a, a good game as well. So I hope it will be a, a quite a good game. Would Ross Common be looking any further than that match to hoping to do something in Connacht this year? Well, we'll get over the first one and then we'll think about the Connacht final. And if you're lucky enough to do that, you start thinking about the next one. But uh, as we say at the moment, go away tomorrow. And if we get past that, then it's another ball game. And a Connacht title would be a nice one to retire on, if you're going to retire. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the retirement part. Again, that depends on tomorrow, whether we win or lose. So I have to think about it. And I've been playing as long as I've enjoyed the game, i played it. So I think when uh, you stop enjoying the game and you start finding it hard to keep fit. And um, at the moment I don't have any problems with fitness. Just the odd injury is the problem. Well, Harry, we wish you well tomorrow in that game. Thanks, Michael. Well, now let's turn our attention to the Leinster Football Championship and tomorrow's meeting of Dublin and Longford.